Hi, everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Judy, I'm just back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited, yet another day, because today at the Young's house, Gina Young is gonna share with you all how easy it is to make a delicious slaw dog. These slaw dogs right here, they're pretty much amazing. So easy to make, it doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and you know, you make it Gina Young style, oh, it's gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my slaw dog before. You better make it some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. When you're making a nice slaw dog, you will need either sausages or hot dogs. Now, typically, when I make this, I always use hot dogs, but I figured today we're gonna use some sausages. So here's the sausages that we're gonna use. We're gonna use some Eckridge smoked sausages. Like I said, feel free to use hot dogs as well. Now, we're gonna be making some coleslaw. So I have some coleslaw mix here and then we have some coleslaw dressing, okay? You're gonna need some cheese. Now, when making this slaw dog, you're gonna need either provolone or Munster cheese. Today, we're gonna use some Munster cheese, and you're gonna need, either need to make some chili sauce or purchase some chili sauce. This is the chili sauce here at the Young's house that we absolutely love. You can find it at Walmart. I don't suggest using, I'm gonna be honest with you all, let's talk about it really quickly before we finish up with the ingredients. I do not like Hormel chili in the can. <laughs> I'm not a fan of it. Whether it has beans in it or if it doesn't have beans in it, I don't prefer to use that kind. So if you can, find this kind is delicious. We're gonna use a nice sweet Vidalia onion and also you're gonna need some hot dog buns. So right here, I have some sweet Hawaiian top slice buns that we will be using. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. I am so excited for this here recipe. So years ago, I went to a vendor and I, I used to work somewhere and there was a vendor that would be across the street and I was introduced to the slaw dog. And the slaw dog had um, coleslaw on it. It had provolone cheese. It had this amazing grilled hot dog, chili sauce, and I was really wowed. And I was psyched about the whole thing. So I went home and I made it and my family loved it. So this is something that we love, love, love here at the Young's house. And I just have to try it with the sausage. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna cut into our sausage just like so. All right, I think we're gonna do three today. Let's set that aside. And what I wanna do is I wanna slit it open, but I don't want to cut all the way through. Okay, so we're gonna do a number just like this. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. Let me know in the comment section below if you've ever heard of something, you know, like a slaw dog. So we're gonna give it a nice little slice right down the middle, and then we're gonna score the outside just like so. Pretty simple, right? Absolutely it is. Okay, we're gonna do each one. This is so exciting to me. My goodness, this is exciting because the flavor, you know, here's what I love about it. The flavors, like they really pop, it kind of makes all of your taste buds go nuts because you're getting that sweet coleslaw, you're getting the crunch from the coleslaw, you're getting that nice toasty bun, and then also there's one other ingredient, um, the nice sweet Vidalia onion. We're gonna grill those as well. And then you get the flavor from the chili sauce that melted provolone or your Munster cheese and listen here what you have is something that's quick and simple and it's out of sight okay so here's what we're going to do now that we have our sausages cut open let's go ahead and slice up some of this beautiful sweet Vidalia onion and I don't need a lot because I'm only making three and what we're going to do is we're going to get some nice color onto this onion. When I come back, I'll show you what to do next. So let's get started um, cooking up our sausage or your hot dogs, whatever you're going to use, and your onions. Okay, so we're going to put the onions in. And you can see that I have about a tablespoon and a half of uh, butter. Okay, any kind of butter. You can use a little bit of vegetable oil if you like, a little bit of olive oil. 
Okay, so now that we have the onions in, let's also put our sausages in or your hot dogs. Face down this way. Skin side up. Gorgeous, and what we're looking for is we're looking to get some gorgeous color onto um, these nice sweet Vidalia onions and some beautiful color onto the sausages as well. Now, while that's happening, what we're gonna do when I come back, we're gonna get started on our coleslaw. Now listen here, those of you, because I, I know there's a lot of you say, why aren't you gonna make the coleslaw yourself, Gina? Do you not know how to make coleslaw? Yes, I know how to make coleslaw. Check that video out, and if you wanna make it homemade, you can use that recipe. This actually is a perfect recipe that um, you can cook the onions and your hot dogs or sausage ahead of time. Keep them nice and warm in some aluminum foil. Um, take your buns, you know, just carry them along. You like on a picnic and put them in a, a Ziploc bag and your chili sauce heat it up. And of course, your coleslaw, you're gonna have it in a, um, you know, some type of Tupperware bowl, have it nice and cold. Put it together at the picnic site and you'll be able to enjoy these. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We have our coleslaw and now we're gonna put in this amazing dressing. I don't know if I have it open, so let's check and see. All right, let's get it open. I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Get you some in there. If you want it dressed a whole lot, put your lot in. If you don't, then put a little bit in. That's the fun of making things when you're at home, you know? You can do what you like. If you want a lot of dressing in there, throw a nice amount in. If you don't, use a little bit. But you know it's fresh when you make it at home, you know? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Gorgeous. Voila, we have coleslaw. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this coleslaw into the refrigerator while we wait on these beautiful sausages. Let's take a peek in at them. We got some gorgeous sausages going on and we have some onion saute. When I come back, I'll show you what to do next. So I think my sausages are getting a nice, ch oh yes. Uh -huh. Look at that. Beautiful. And that's what you're looking for. Oh, yeah. Come on with that. Ooh, this one's going to have to cook a little bit longer, but we'll, we'll turn it back over, okay? And the onions are doing exactly what I want them to do. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and take our chili that I love, put it into a bowl, and we're going to heat this bad boy up. I love this chili. I know I'm ranting and raving about it, but I love it. Give it a try if you can. Don't use cornmeal. <laughs> All right. So now, um, and then also, those of you, there, there's some of you, you're going to say, I want to make my chili myself, Gina. Well, check out the video for that as well. You know, I show you how to make homemade chili from scratch. All right. You can do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of plastic wrap on here. I'm going to get this nice and hot. And when I come back, I'll show you what to do next. Now, when we speak about the bun. Let's talk about this really quickly. Um, it's up to you if you want to toast it. A lot of times, I really don't take the time to toast buns, but you can if you want to. And I feel like if you're going to toast a bun, you don't have to butter it, you don't have to oil it, because the sausage and the onions, they have enough oil in it. Don't put that extra oil on there, okay? So some of our sausages are done. Let's get them out. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh-huh. Oh, we're going to make some mound water tonight. You bet we are. Look at that. I love it. Oh, I love it. Just as if we were cooking, you know, we were to cook these on the grill. I want that other side to get a little bit darker. And we're getting that gorgeous color that I'm looking for onto the onions. The longer that they cook, the sweeter that they taste. So our sausages are done. The onions are done. Let's get them out of the pan. And we're going to just lay them right on top of these hot dogs. Just for now. Okay, get on there, get on there. Oh, and they're nice and sweet. Ooh, wait, there's nothing like a sweet Vidalia onion. It's beautiful, you know, before you cook it, but when you cook it, it gets even sweeter. And listen here, oh my goodness. When you pair it up with this recipe, you're gonna fall in love. All right, so now we have that done. We have our um, chili sauce that's nice and hot and steamy right here. We're gonna grab out the mustard cheese. I'm not gonna toast the buns. We're gonna assemble this beautiful sausage. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite.
and Prince and Polo want to say hello. We have Polo in the back and Prince in the front. Say hi, guys. Say hi. Can you say hi? <laughs> Time to assemble this slaw dog. Now listen here. How many of you think I say it funny? I, I feel like when you say slaw dog, you kind of have to say slaw dog like your friend. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> Like you're from the country. I wonder who <laughs> who made up this recipe. <laughs> okay, Gina, quit the laughing. Comment down below if you guys think I am totally nuts. It's okay if you say it. It's it's a it's okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's assemble the slaw dog. Okay, so now here's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and take our Munster or your provolone, and we're gonna line it just like so oh you bet we are just like so gorgeous and we're gonna put our hot dog and our sweet vidalia onions right on top of that cheese oh yes <laughs> just like so we're gonna do the same thing in this manner oh look at that get in my belly right now I, listen i'm gonna be honest with you all when I eat these, I can eat about three in one setting. That's how delicious they are. All of the different flavor profiles, you know, like I said, you get that sweet Vidalia onion, you get this gorgeous grilled sausage or your grilled hot dogs, this nice smooth cheese, the um, <clears throat> chili sauce, and not to forget the coleslaw on top. Listen here. You want a good dog? Make a Gina Young style. You won't be let down. So we have that there, beautiful. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some chili, but we're not gonna get crazy. We don't want this to turn into a dog that is too soggy. You know, you wanna be able to walk away with it without, you know, you know having to use a, a, a plate. You wanna be able to walk away with anything that you're holding to eat and it doesn't fall apart. So don't put too much chili sauce on it. There is a such thing as saucing things up a little too much. Okay, see that? Beautiful. And we're also not going to go crazy on the coleslaw. All you need is a little bit to get that nice sweetness and that beautiful crunch that it gives. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Come on with it. Mm, mm, mm. And, you know, some of you might say, what's the best part of this recipe? Everything. Everything, especially those nice sweet onions. So now here's what we're going to do. Last finishing touch, and we have a slaw dog. What I was trying to tell you all earlier before I started laughing, I kind of picture a gentleman from the country that wears overalls, <laughs> made up this recipe when he was out fishing, and it was a hit. I'm telling you one thing, he was genius for making up this recipe because, like I said, I can't stress it enough, it's delicious. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Gorgeous, a little bit over here. Not too much, don't get crazy. Just like so, you have a slow dog. When I come back, we're gonna say that prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite. Take a look at it, everybody. Gina Young style, slow dogs, make you some. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Jenny Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's say a quick prayer so you all can take a bite. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we want to thank you once again for a beautiful day today. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. <clears throat> Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. Hey, wait, puppy. Amen once again. I know which one you're wanting. I know, I know, I know. You're wanting this one. You're wanting this one. Can you hear the dogs? Can you hear them? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. I want you all to take a peek 
And if all of those, well, hey, 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 wait. <laughs> he knows the video's over. Look at that. Take a look at all of the ingredients. Take a bite and let me know what you think. Absolutely. And as always, God bless you all. Thank y'all for watching. Good night.